Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Wednesday, May 29th, 2019. Happy Hump Day. Yes, uh, no happy hour this week. I am working on the June monthly readings. And also I have this project that I have to get finished. It's due on Tuesday and it's a major milestone. So I am taking this week to do, um, uh, to do the June monthly readings and then also work on this project. So no happy hour tonight, but we will be doing it next week. Yes. <clears throat> so if you wanted to get on the list, just save your questions for next week. Hmm. Spirits even suggesting maybe to rethink it. If you should be asking that question, maybe there's another question you really want to be asking. I don't know who that's for, but take it as it resonates. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be a general energy reading. This is not specific to anything. Love, career, um, signs, relationships, whatnot, whatever. This is just whatever spirit wants to discuss with us today. And just because it is dated for the 29th for organizational purposes, it doesn't mean that the message is not... Wow. I just noticed something. It doesn't mean that the message is not um, timeless because it is, in fact, timeless. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, guys. I, I have these sheets. <clears throat> not that you really care, but I have these sheets that have gold, golden pineapples on them. They're super cute, but I'm realizing now why I have this glittery, glittery sheen all over my body. It's because the gold texture is coming off the sheets where I was sleeping. Okay, anyway, not that you really care about that. I just realized it and now I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> oh, excuse me, okay. Anyway, let's get into the reading for today, guys. Let's see what Spirit wants to discuss today. Mm. Mm -mm. All right, here we go. Actually, before I do that, before I do that, hold on just a second, guys. Just a second here. I'm gonna mute this. And we're back. Okay, I just wanted to blow my nose really quickly, get that over with, and now we're ready to go. And I muted it so that you guys didn't have to hear it. Yeah? <laughs> okay, now let's get started. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Wednesday, May 29th, 2019. Okay, so I'm seeing orange today. Um, I feel like some people are fairly emotional today. <clears throat> that could be a good thing. It is a good thing I'm hearing. Um, in some cases, some of you are feeling very joyful. I did see yellow in there a little bit. So yellow is, okay, well, orange is the emotions or the sacral chakra. Yellow is the solar plexus, so willpower, but also like, you know, vibrancy, the sun. Um, <clears throat> exuberate, exuberation, exuberancy, um, uh, joy, cheerfulness, celebration, enthusiasm, excitement. I feel like something is unexpected here. I don't know if you guys, some of you may have gotten some news about something that you hadn't expected that you are really, really joyful about. Um, Yeah, that's a good thing. 
That's really nice. For whoever that's for, congratulations. That's wonderful. Okay. Uh, but also the emotions could have to do with the excavation that we were talking about yesterday. And that would be a good thing because in that sense, you're processing the emotions, especially with the yellow color, the color that I saw. The yellow, yellow is a color of action. Um, so you're taking action in terms of your emotions. Some of you are clear, excavating. That's what Spirit is saying, clearing out those emotions, um, digging them out, you know, and clearing out the space. It's a good thing. We're gonna give one last shuffle here, yeah, because I'm seeing the king. I'm seeing the king of cups again right now. So um, this is that emotional responsibility, and also the devil just caught my attention while as I'm splitting the deck to shuffle, um, taking taking emotional responsibility, facing your demons, facing your fears, um, facing your anxieties, whatever it may have been holding you back recently. Okay. Excellent. So let's see what else we have here. For the collective, May 29th, Wednesday. The Knight of Swords. There you go. There you go. Diving, charging right into battle here. Okay. Is that stack? Yep, it fell out. There we go. Interesting. All right, guys, we have another we have another doozy of reading here, but overall energy is the Ace of Cups. There are those emotions right there. That's that self-love, loving yourself, honoring yourself. Um, I'm hearing giving yourself the time and space that you need in order to heal through these things that you're working through. Knight of Swords, the knight in shining armor. This is you or someone on your behalf, someone that you're connected with, whatever, charging into battle, okay? And again, here we have shadow work amongst a whole other stack, but we'll get to the rest of the stack in a, in a moment, but shadow work is right there. I'm gonna put this here because it looks like we're gonna need some extra space. I'm gonna leave the Knight of Swords there and I'm gonna take these. Yep. Excellent, interesting, interesting. You know what's so funny, guys? We have the emperor here, um, and the empress came out during the pre-shuffle with the eight of swords, okay? So um, I'll get to that in a second. There's also something else I wanna tell you about that. Very, very interesting. So this is, wow, okay. So this is very much an extension of last uh, of yesterday's reading, but this is crazy. Look at all these cards here, but that's okay. We'll get through it. Um, first thing I wanna tell you, as I was, I'm actually gonna put this over here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, as I was clearing up the reading yesterday, <clears throat> as I was cleaning up the reading yesterday, um, I was, uh, clearing out the golden universal deck which is our clarifier deck or at least it was yesterday and um a bunch of cards came out it was the king of cups again with the tower and then on top of that was the king of swords the king of wands underneath the deck at that very moment was the king of pentacles so that's basically emperor energy that's all four of the kings coming together <clears throat> Okay, the thing about it was the King of Cups was with the tower. So in some cases, the masculine, some of you masculines out there, or those of you that resonate more with masculine energy, or if you are in a phase or a cycle in which you're healing or dealing with your masculine energy more, the King of Cups energy is what was breaking free or breaking the mold and was almost like it's taking the place of where the King of Swords and the King of Wands used to be. Um, the King of Swords, King of Wands are, ve are very much egoic energies. King of Swords being the uh, extreme detachment. King of Wands being um, narcissistic and uh, egocentric. But then with the, bot, with the King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, there's more, there's integration of all four of these kings in the physical realm 
Um, and also, there, I was picking up on an energy of, or a desire to be more committed in in some certain situations, more stable, more grounded, may, maybe more commitment oriented. Okay, and so now we have the emperor energy here, and the and the empress came out this morning while I was doing the pre shuffle before I started this reading, just channeling the energies of the day, uh, with the with the eight of swords. Okay, so there's an energy of, you know, the feminine needing to like break herself out of some sort of mental prison because everything is happening. Um, it's just taking time. Okay. But let's get into this. So we have the page of starting up the top of the reading right here, this top row. We have the page of cups, ten of swords, six of pentacles, nine of swords, the emperor. Hmm. So, it's interesting. I almost feel like some of you are hesitant to really take your power back, to, to really take control of your situation or of your life because of this Nine of Swords that's in this row. Okay, Page of Cups is the dreamer energy. It's also some sort of reconciliatory energy. Um, for some of you, there's an, it's an energy of wanting to make things right. The Ten of Swords, in conjunction with that, is um, the situation or, or rough situations being finished over, cycles being closed out. And there's an energy of giving back to yourself in kind with the Six of Pentacles, reciprocity. Now... The Page of Cups does feel more of like a dreamer energy because you are at this stage in which some things, emotional things or rough situations are wrapping up, okay? But then the Nine of Swords is here, um, right here, speaking to an energy of not quite being comfortable with giving yourself this reciprocity, Six of Pentacles. There's still some sort of fear of whether or not this is right, even though you're in a very strong space of wanting to take action towards taking your power back, okay? Now, that's only minor. That Nine of Swords energy is really only minor. Um, in comparison to everything else that's going on here. Um, yeah, because then you get down to the next row and you have shadow work with the three of pentacles, queen of swords, six of cups, the magician. Okay, so there is some healing that's happening uh, from the past, from your childhood, maybe even past lives. Um, specifically, there are some things I don't, uh, whatever, specifically for some of you out there, there are some things that you are actively working on manifesting that you may not have been able to accomplish in a past life. And the shadow work that you're doing and the self-mastery that you're working on in conjunction, like with the, with the shadow work here, that may have brought some things up that... Um, for some of you, these are desires that you had, but you didn't know where they came, where they were coming from. You couldn't put a definition on them. You had this desire to do something, but you just, you didn't know what it was. You didn't know how to explain it. You didn't know how to express it. You didn't know how to figure out what it was because it was this obscure feeling. But the shadow work and self-mastery that, that you have been working on, coupled with the energy of the Queen of Swords in cutting things out that are no longer um, beneficial for you, that's cleared the way for you to understand it or see it in a different light, put some definition on it, see it a little clearer so now you can actually start manifesting it. That's really cool. That's really cool. I don't know who that's for specifically. It feels quite specific. But for others of you, you are now manifesting in the face of what has gone on in the past. So if you've been dealing with a lot of hurt, pain, trauma, turmoil from the past, 
It could be a past life. It could be the past in this life. Um, it's like you're cutting away things that no longer serve, things from the past so that you can, in fact, manifest right now. And that's beautiful. And then we get to the last row, which is Justice Four of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. There is, it's strange, there is an energy of um, being somewhat closed off at the moment. If you want to take some time, go in a little bit of a hermit mode, I think that's okay because you're dealing with emotions right now. Justice, Four of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. You're dealing with letting go of things, which is not easy, especially if there's a lot from the past that you've been harboring, Spirit is saying holding on to for a very long time it's almost as if you have to get used to the feeling of not holding on to this any longer there are some there's some purging there's some processing of emotions that's happening here <laughs> obviously because you're still in a period of shadow work and even if you're dealing with something um like I just did a, a personal reading for someone yesterday. She's most likely gonna be watching today. Hi, but I, I don't know why, but I thought of you specifically. Um, you're going through, you're doing some shadow work too. So even if you are in a situation in which someone else has done something or acted in a way that wasn't the best, um, was irresponsible, was immature, blah, 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 whatever, whatnot. Yes, they could be going through some things, but also you are doing your own form of shadow work in terms of the situation as well. Now, for some of you, this Justice Four of Pentacles and Five of Cups, you are kind of holding yourself back um, because something that you're dealing with here, whether it's like all of the shadow work that you're doing or if you're in a situation with or a situation ship with someone and they've triggered you in some way you're kind of holding back because of a remembrance of past hurt possibly some things that you're still holding on to and there in lies your shadow work okay that's an example yes all right Either way, though, someone's charging into battle. Knight of Swords. Also, though, there's a need for communication. There could be some communication coming through for you guys. You may be communicating in the form of standing up for yourself with this Ace of Cups here. Or at least setting boundaries in some cases. Sorry about the sniffles, guys. Okay, so... clarity I almost just want to do it I don't even want to split it up today this might be a little dangerous but I kind of feel like I just want to ask for the cards to just speak I don't want to split it up. It's just because there's so much going on here that what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shuffle over the deck, over the, the, the table here and see what comes out for some clarity for us. Wish me luck, kids. <laughs> here we go. Just some clarity, please, Spirit, for today's reading. Four of Wands. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. There you go. The Knight of Swords with the Devil and the King of Swords. Wow. Overall, justice again. Now, karma. Karma is what I, I just heard as I was, as I saw justice. Karma came out. That's what I heard. What do we have here? And the Page of Cups. Okay. All right. So, 
This didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would. Excellent. Because <laughs> as, as some of you know, you know, cards can just get dumped sometimes and whew, spirit's just like, okay, here you go. Here's the message. <laughs> like kind of like how it happened here. So I'm kind of glad. I'm glad. <laughs> the first round look at all these cards that came out second round clarity is a little more concise i'm with it so the first card that came out here is the four of wands all right this is a solid foundation this is very very good this is very good um this is a solid foundation this is I, I, all I can really think of is the analogy that I have with the house. Like when you're building a house and you lay the foundation at first, um, you know, you have to let the foundation set before you can continue building the house. In that time period that the house or that the, the foundation is setting in, settling in, um, you can have a party. Why? Because there really isn't anything else that you isn't much else that you could be doing i mean obviously you could be prepping the rest but you can also you know take some time to rest and celebrate because you've broken ground foundation has been laid but again you know you still have work to do moving forward but you've got a great start this is a very very good start okay and like i said charging into battle facing the devil because as i was um shuffling getting ready to pull the full the first part of the reading the devil caught my attention while i was talking about doing that emotional work facing your devil facing your demons facing your fears your anxieties knight of swords with the devil and that knight of swords is charging right after that devil okay you have the king of swords here aquarius energy but it's the judge and then here you have justice, judge and jury, okay? Um, being clear, you know? And you do have the counterparts between the king and the queen of swords here, all right? So in some cases, you are looking for things to cut out, excellent. In other cases, you are being diplomatic about it. And for some of you, this has to do with the dreamer energy here, the page of cups of starting a new reality, wanting a new emotional reality, um, also wanting to reconcile in some way. That's really cool, you guys. Congratulations. You know, you're doing well. You're really doing well. And you're off to a great start with the four of wands. Um, you know, for some of you, if you have, I don't, this just came through randomly, but if you are connecting with someone, um, even though things may not look like it right now, it feels like you're off to a great start because it's causing people to face their demons. So whatever is going on between you guys, whoever this is for, it's pretty specific, so it's probably not for everybody, but if you are in fact connecting with someone and have been for a little bit, I want to say like maybe a few months, a month or two, whatnot, you've been kind of involved, getting to know each other in some way. It could even, I'm hearing passive involvement for some of you. Um, this Four of Wands is saying that you're off to a great start, even though it may not look that way right now, okay? But ultimately, justice is being served. And for the most part, collectively, justice is being served in, the t in terms of breaking free from the devil energy. Okay? Um... I want to go with the Oracle of the Unicorns today, and then I think I might close with the Light Worker. But the the Unicorns were calling out today. Um, when I first started the reading, they caught my attention. They said they wanted to come play. So we're gonna get some Oracle guidance here from the Unicorns. Whoops, the Unicorns first. 
But yeah, and then we'll close out with the Lightworker Oracle really quick. Um, the unicorns just want to give some advice. Oh, oh, okay. On clearing out this energy, handling this and this like emotional clearing that you, some of you are going through. The unicorns have advice for that. One more shuffle. Okay. Here we go, guys. So advice in terms of the emotional clearing that's going on. Okay, we've got dance and balance. Yep. Okay, so like I said, guys, um, those of you that are looking to maybe take a hermit stage, go into hermit mode a little bit, take some time to rest or whatnot, do that, okay? Because you have balance. Take time to rest, or I'm sorry, take time to relax. Indulge a little more or a little less. Set boundaries with your work. And I would just say, go ahead and say that, you know, set boundaries with everything. Especially during this time right now, because you might be really emotionally volatile or um, a little extra sensitive than normal. Um, so it's really a time to set boundaries and to take some time for self-care and to relax. But then you also have dance. Move your body to music. Dance with the rhythm of life. Manifest your dreams through dance. Um, and also, you know what I'm getting with this is just to go with the flow of how things are running in your life right now. Dance with it. Don't dance against it. Don't Don't try not to go against the current, just flow with it, okay? Be in that eternal dance mode with the universe, yes? And for some of you, this really is like, really, dance. Dance it out, you know? That's a great way to release emotions. If you are a dancer, uh, or you just really love to dance, go to a dance class, or like put on some of your favorite music at, at home and just dance it out. That's really going to help with this emotional clearing. Absolutely. All right, cool. So now let's close the reading with a little bit of knowledge from the Lightworker Oracle. How about them apples? <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. We need this three shuffles and then we'll see what we've got. Alrighty, kids. For our Wednesday, May 29th, closing message, please, Spirit, Oracle Guidance for today's reading. Card number 17, Family of Light. Here we go. The limits that much of humanity place upon their love, that they will love their own family, country, religion, or community better than they love those on the outside, do not restrain your heart. You are capable of loving humanity, of loving all creation on earth as an extended spiritual family. You will love all at your own. Oh, I'm sorry. You will love all as your own. You are meant to belong to a broader family of light. <clears throat> While some souls have incarnated to learn about us and them, others have the purpose of teaching unconditional, all-embracing love. You are one of these. You have taken life to love the many, not just the few. For this life purpose to be anchored, issues in your biological family may keep you from bonding with them in a typical way. Perhaps you were the odd one out in your family, the one whom no one really understood. Perhaps you felt loved, but couldn't live the way your family seemed comfortable to live. Maybe you lost family members through divorce, disease, depression, and death, 
or through addiction or emotional immaturity that left you disconnected from key family members. This pain was part of how you remained, you remained unconditioned. Yes, this pain was part of how you remained unconditioned by the more typical family bonds. Whilst these bonds are necessary for many souls to experience their life lessons, the difficulty you may have experienced regarding them helped push you to become a child of love. You had to seek, quote, family in expansive ways, remaining open as you searched for love rather than feeling satisfied by your immediate tribe and closed to those outside it. You can come through your experience not as a victim of circumstance, but as an empowered soul. Process it, heal, forgive, and step into the spiritual blessings gained through your atypical relations with your biological family. Although you were not meant to belong in a traditional way to your family of origin, you shall not be denied the love you need. You are here to help build a human family joined by more than blood or, legional, or, legion, or a legal union. Excuse me. It will not just be you loving the world, but the world loving you. The power of your heart to give and receive love shall not be wasted. So it is time to gently undo the patterns of attempting to fit in. Instead, trust that you are exactly where you were meant to be. When you do, your magnetism will draw love and friendship for those, from those who vibrate at a similar level of consciousness to you. Leave past hurts and rejection behind. You no longer need them to grow. Well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Again, no happy hour this week, but I will be resuming next week. I hope you guys have a great Wednesday, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye!